Good morning, everybody. Hi. Oh, welcome to Coffee and Cards. Coffee cheers, everybody. Oh my gosh, you guys, I had to make a list. I had to make a list because I had so much stuff that I wanted to talk to you about. And I did not, I did not want to forget. So, welcome to Coffee and Cards. I'm Jennifer Merle Hampshire, and you are in the Flutterby studio. I'm Jennifer Merle Ooh, Hampshire. Apparently, I forgot to turn the volume down. Sorry. Whoops. Whoops. Um, good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Kareem. Good morning, Lynn. Wow, you girls are on time today. Woo, look at you. So, I have a new setup for coffee and cards because, you guys, I am so tired of moving my light bar setup when I have stuff going on in the craft room. So, with all this cleaning and everything, I um, changed my setup a little bit for my videos, so I'm really excited about that. Here's my list, my list. Oh, all right, so get down, good morning, Miss Paula. Let's get down to business this morning. And you guys, I just cleaned my glasses and apparently I still have paint, paint splatters on my glasses. Good morning, Kathy. Anyways, okay, so grab a pencil and paper because that's how much of a list that I have, you guys. Ooh, crazy list. Okay, oh, I'm gonna take one more swig of coffee. I'm super excited to be in the studio today, you guys. Okay. All right, so. I'm grabbing my list so I don't forget. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff going on. So first off, we found out yesterday that there is going to be a year-end closeout. And oh my gosh, you guys, should we talk about, there are things from 10% off to 50% off, and then there's some that are still regular price, but there's quite a bit. There's probably more than two handfuls of items that are gonna be half price in that catalog, you guys. Um, very, very short list, like short list of what is going to be carried over to the new catalog. Um, Paula got lucky because um, one of the items that's carrying over is that really cool fall leaf die cut that's in the new holiday mini so that is one of the items now um i'm working on today after the video today i'm going to be sharing as long as i can figure out how to do it um sharing the list good morning carolyn sharing the list of what items are going to be how much so i'm working on that i will get that to you as soon as i can um, the other thing I wanted to mention is this month's Ding Dong Ditch. So any product purchase that you make of $25, this is one of the options for the Ding Dong Ditch. Any product purchase that you make of $25, you get four cards, two each of two different designs, free. But there's also another Ding Dong Ditch, and if you do... Or another option, if you do the second option, you get both options included. So if you make um, an add-on purchase. Um, I always have part of the Ding Dong Ditch, a $15 to $17 version, so that you can get your hands on some designer series paper and some ribbon and different things like that. So if you need information about the Ding Dong Ditch, then please comment below. And let's see what else is on my list. Oh, Paper Pumpkin. If you are not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you have to sign up by the 10th. And the cute little bear um, 
sneak peek that we saw. That is what the um, cutoff is for the 10th. So, uh, and I have not gotten my advisor kit yet, but that's okay. Um, so you won't want to miss that. <sighs> and just really quick, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention about Paper Pumpkin. You guys, Paper Pumpkin is a fabulous gift for somebody that you know that is crafty. So it's super duper easy to do a prepaid subscription for someone. Um, great gift. It's an emailable gift as well. So it's something that you don't have to worry about getting shipping and all of those things. And whomever you send it to, they're not going to be disappointed. Ooh, sorry, you guys. Um, the tapping was my earrings. You guys, seeing as this was our first day in the new studio, I wanted to make sure to wear some butterfly earrings. And that is bumping my microphone. So I apologize for that. Anyways, I don't know if you could see them. Oh, yeah, you could. All right. Anyways, um, and then the last thing about Paper Pumpkin, if you want to check out Paper Pumpkin, but you're not sure if you're interested or you want to take a peek at something that was in a past box, then join the Pumpkin Whispers page because it's a great way to scope out some of the past things because I do unboxing videos and we do alternative videos and I do those things twice a month, sometimes even three times, depending on when kits arrive. So fun stuff, won't be disappointed. Um, we made a really cool um, little box on Thursday and I'm trying to remember what was the other thing that we did on Thursday. The box and I'm going to look because I don't remember. Box and didn't we do a card? I don't even find it here you guys. It's on the table, which is a shambles, and it is what it is. I know that we did another project. Anybody know what we did? Because I can't remember. That was like days ago, right? <laughs> All right, anyways, great way to get um, some information about Paper Pumpkin. Okay, now I am part of a Dream Catchers Marketplace, you guys. This is something that is going to be a continual marketplace. So if you're looking for basically some online ways to do some shopping for gifts or for um, things for yourself, because I'm sorry, but Merry Christmas to me. Um, and if you're also looking for um, stuff that's mailable, to people where you don't have to get it to you first and then ship, ship it someplace else, that Dream Catchers Marketplace, and if you're looking for an invite, you need to contact me so that I can send you the link. I would love for everybody to join me over at that Dream Catchers Marketplace. There are several, several different, um, different vendors on that, and I don't remember how many, I'm really sorry. Um, but anyways, oh. the last thing is, is that this week, paper share information is going to be posted to the website and I will share it next, uh, later in the week he, on the, um, on the Facebook page. So if you're looking for the paper share information, it is coming forth with, I think that's enough. How about we talk about some coffee? All right, so I'm going to switch the camera around so that we can talk about, um, I want to expand a little bit on the paper share and I want to um, work on some projects. So hang on, let me flip the camera around. Okay, I have a nice, super big workspace here, you guys. So I have here... Does anybody have any questions about the things that I spoke about already? Yes, no, maybe. Maybe not. 
which is fine either way. I just wanted to make sure that um, that nobody's got any questions so far. Oh, I do too, Lynn. Thank you. I just saw your message. It is a couple shades lighter than crumb cake, you guys. So I'm super duper excited. I love it. And this was the bucket of paint that I found in my basement. All right, so apparently, if you've got questions, I know you guys know to ask, but just, oh, I'm so glad. I love the paper sheer too. It's a lot of work. Paula is usually my helper, and I usually have some package helpers, but um, love the paper sheer. Always a great option in regards to um, getting a little bit of all of the things. So this beautiful paper, this beautiful paper is a flocked paper. And I brought this over because I want to show you, this is a 12 by 12 pack of paper. However, I was, um, I got one share of the specialty paper and you get two pieces, two six by six pieces of each piece that's in there. So I want to show you the value that you get because you can still do a whole, whole bunch with just a share of the paper share. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you with a share of the paper share, not even a full share, half a share, plus a color family pack and a stamp set, we can create a slew or oodles, depending on how you want to word it, we can make oodles and oodles of cards. So I chose, I have, um, every once in a while, I buy um, color family packs, you guys, and I don't even know why I do it. Sometimes I do it for prizes. Sometimes I do it for, um, for the Ding Dong Ditch because I do um, like the color family DSPs and and the like. So, but that's why, that's why I get the color family ones. So this is the Regals and you've got crushed curry, pumpkin pie, old olive, real red, Garden Green, Cajun Craze, Rich Razzleberry, Shaded Spruce, Cherry Cobbler, and Blackberry Bliss. Now, all fabulous colors for Christmas. And I mean like fabulous Christmas colors. So we're going to pull, I want the Blackberry and the Shaded Spruce. No, I did Garden Green, actually. Hang on. I'm going to put this back in case I need it. Shaded spruce. I was thinking shaded spruce originally, and I think I changed my mind. I want to go a little more traditional color, I think. That's what I was thinking. And we're going to pull a real red and a garden green. Oh, thank you, Sue. Hey, Heather. I am, Sue, I, you guys know me pretty well all the times that you watch me with my videos. I'm, I'm very specific on calling the colors the colors. So, all right, so we've got, this is our color palette, and we're going to create um, different cards with different things. So, I want to show you, there's three different ways that you can cut up your 6 by 6 paper. Now, the first way, and I've got my trimmer here, the first way is this one. This is the one I wanted to do. This one we're gonna cut up into three by three sections, okay? So we're going to get four pieces out of this. Now, the, doing it with the three by three is one of the highest quantities that you're gonna be able to get. So there's that. Now, the poinsettia 
And you guys, this is fuzzy paper with a vellum back. I mean, it's really, really pretty. This one, this one is the one that we're going to get the least out of, but that's okay, because I want to do a four inch by five and a quarter inch piece. So we're only going to get one, we'll get two cards out of that. So we get four and we'll get two. And then there's this piece. This piece, you guys, I thought would be super duper cool. I'm taking a swig of coffee, you guys. Super cool. And let me move the camera up just a smidgen. Okay. This one, we're going to cut these. Actually, we're going to do one cut at three inches. And we're going to save this because this one, we're gonna cut at one and a half. One, two, three and four, okay? So we're going to be able to get those two, okay? We're gonna use two pieces and I'm gonna bring in Should we use, I was thinking using the mistletoe as an added piece. Because we're gonna do something similar like we did the curvy, the curvy Christmas cards. Do you guys remember those? Here's the curvy Christmas card that we did. And no, it wasn't planned. If I had planned it, it'd be on the table. One and a half, one and a half by three. And then this is one and a half by four. So I want to do a layout similar to this for these pieces. So we're going to add in another piece. So I need two pieces, one and a half. Actually, we're just going to do a three inch piece here three inch and we're going to make it four inches. So we'll actually have an extra and we're going to do this like this. So this will be our middle bigger piece, just like that. So here we have one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, and eight. Here, just this stuff, you guys, is eight cards. Eight different cards, just with those little cuts. Now, I will, when I do the supply list, you guys, I'll include the different cuts so that you guys have the information. But I want to only, you guys get to pick. You know how to do this one. And do you guys want to see, we'll do one of these and one of these because we can make quick, two quick cards. Hi, Denise. Two, and these are going to, you guys, you're going to be amazed at how quick these cards are going to be. Good morning, Betty. You guys say hi to Betty Murphy. She is my brother's wife's mother. Yep, I did just say it like that. My brother's wife's mother. So my brother's mother-in-law. Say hi to Betty. Getting all the family on these days. Woohoo! All right, so I'm gonna trim up these card bases here, you guys. And so that we can make the quick cards. I'm just scoring them. Well, I'm waiting for you guys to decide. Are we, are we just gonna, we'll do one of these and one of these, or do you wanna see the three, the three pieces too? Score, score, here. Oh, and the other Betty is here too. Hey, Betty, Betty. Betty Boosom's here. 
Busum, sorry. Betty Murphy. We got, oh my gosh, you guys. Good morning. Everybody's up early today. Quick cards. That's exactly right, Sue. Quick cards. Okay. Oh, I forgot to grab the white, you guys. I need to grab the white ink, so bear with me here. One sec. So, I want to tell you guys, I stand now throughout the whole video because it's so much easier to get around. Yep, already saw the three-piece one. That's what Lynn said. I agree. All right, so we're going to do this one and this one. And, all right. So we've got three card bases and you guys, you could use white so that you don't have to put a liner in them. I don't mind putting a liner in them. So I'm just using these pretty, these as our cards. So this one is going to be like that, and this one is going to be like this, and I think we're going to do this one too, like that, and I have to trim this up because I want it to be, I want this one, you guys, I hate to say it, but yes, that's going in the trash. That's okay, because this one's gonna go this way. All right, so here are our three quick cards. That's it, you guys. It does look, Kathy, you, Kathy, you are totally right. It looks very finished off with a liner. I totally agree, totally, totally. Now, because this is vellum, you guys, you still have to be careful. I do have my glue dot. And I had to go grab my take your pick tool. And we're going to put, strategically put our glue dots where there's already flocking. Just like that. Because Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? That's the other reason why I went with the regal colors because you can totally see the flocking on that darker background. Okay, now there's that one. And so you guys know I've been like crazy working on the craft room. And I had some help yesterday, which I think Corrine is still here. Hey, Kendra. Um, had a little bit of help. I had a whole bunch of help. Who am I kidding? Whole bunch of help yesterday from Corrine and Logan. Logan, my fabulous helper. I love that he comes and helps me. There. And then this one. Oh, yes. Good job, Kendra. Yes, I love the Blackberry Bliss too. So pretty. When they, this what used to be, you guys, this came out originally as an in color. And I hoarded it when it retired. And I hoped and hoped that it would come back. And it did. Loved it. This was um, in color. Sue, help me out here because I know you were, and Paula, this Blackberry Bliss was an in color with the Mossy Meadow. Both of those were in colors. Ooh, you guys, they were gorgeous. 
I know, Paula, you're saying, I don't like it because it's too dark. Well, poop on you. All right. Now, I brought in this gift wrapped because, you guys, I really love A Very Merry Christmas. And then this special, uh, wrapped especially for you is so cute. Love it. So those are going to be the two sentiments that we're going to use. And that one. And that. And I have to grab. I'm grabbing some Whisper White, you guys, so that we can stamp the insides. I still love you, Paula. All right. Now. Now, and here's the other thing, you guys. Ooh. I need to wash. You do not need to buy the whole suite of products. If you find something that you like, there is no, no reason why you should not um buy the pretty paper okay and put a different sentiment with it there is no no reason why you shouldn't all right this we're going to stamp with the craft white and actually i want to stamp that now because that's got to dry it's got to dry 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 somebody was talking yesterday. I think somebody was asking me about re-inking your craft white. I think that's going to be our quick video tomorrow on the Whispers and Secrets page, you guys. So we're going to, because that white right there needs to be re-inked. So I think we'll do that. So if you're not part of the Whispers and Secrets page, you're going to want to join that. There's your front, you guys. Quick, easy card. Now we have these two. Let's clean our sentiment. And I'm just using my chamois. Now for this one, I need a sentiment piece. So we're going to bring in a, a scrap piece of red, because goodness knows I got plenty of scrap red. Okay, and we're going to put it down here in the corner. Just like that. And we're going to lop it off. Three quarters of an inch. Yep. Just like that for that. And then we're going to do the same thing. Same, same. Hey, Sharon. Oh, I know, Sharon. I love that vellum too. Oh, it's one of my favorites. One of my favorites. We're talking about how to use the paper share today, Sharon, because I always do a paper share. So, and how to get the several, several cards out of different cuts. In case you came in late. And we'll cut this in. Oh, you know what? Heat embossing with the white would be super cool with this too. Completely agree, Kathy. Completely agree that that would be very cool. I'm going to grab something, 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 something. Grab some pearls and some dimensionals. 
because I'm still working on setting up my spaces, you guys, so bear with me here. We haven't done heat embossing in a live, have we? I don't even remember. All right, so for this one, we need ooh, wrong, wrong scissors. So I need to set up a little station over here yet, you guys, with tools and stuff. I haven't done that yet. I've, that's one of the things on my list. Kendra, you know what? I can, how about we do heat embossing on Tuesday, you guys, because Kendra's asking how to do it. How about I figure out a heat embossing um, project for Tuesday? Does that sound good? It's been a long time since we've heat embossed, I think. And I think that would be a super fun idea. Oh, oh, I see the thumbs up. Okay, Lynn, I'm sorry, honey, about your mother-in-law. I know you did tell me about that, and I'm super duper sorry. All right, how's Nick doing today? Heat embossing on Tuesday. Thank you, Sue. I think that that is a great, great idea. All right. So there's that. And here is... Apparently, I still have some dust on things. So there's our th quick... Three quick cards, you guys. Okay? And I got to cut up the insides and we'll stamp those. But I want to put... We're gonna put some bling. Hey, Holly Crafter. We're gonna put some bling over here. Oh, I'm doing. Why am I making this so difficult for myself? I did. I wasn't using the putty end because I was almost out of putty, but now I have putty, and because of the I me mean, not using it there we go and i like that one just like that all right so let's do our insides you know kathy i was wondering about that too i wonder actually i thought it would be super cool to do the stampin blends and color this all green and then color these little things. And I might take a scrap piece and try it. I have so much to do today. Um, I might not get to it today, but I promise I will check into it in the next couple of days. Lynn, I agree. Oh my goodness, those pearls made a huge difference. And you guys, don't, don't be afraid to add embellishments even if you're mailing a card. Here's the thing, okay? If, and I've done this many, many a time. Oh, that Blackberry Bliss is gorgeous, isn't it? Love it myself. Love it. Um, don't be afraid to add the pearls. Put when you're, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. When you're putting your card in the envelope, let me get these card bases cut, you guys, or these layer pieces. When you're putting these in the envelope, put the front. There's our three layers. Let me grab an envelope. When you're putting your card in your envelope, put it in this way. Okay, put it in that way. It can still be run through the machine. No worries about things popping through or anything. I know that um, Paula used to put hers inside out. If you're worried about that, then do it that way. I, that I'm aware of, and I send the cards to mom pretty frequently, 
I have not had any issues with, hey, Anita, girlfriend, you made it. Oh, guys, Anita has been, oh my gosh, Anita and I have been friends since before I lived in Illinois, you guys. Anita, I'm so glad that you made it. All right, this is Blackberry Bliss. That's what that color name is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yay. All right, so let's work on these insides. I'm gonna make sure that all of our cards are in the, in the shot here. Let's work on our insides now. All right. Oh, Anita, you getting here. You got me all flustered. I'm so excited that you're here today. Oh, and Vicky's here too. Girls. We're going to have some fun. All right. Oh, Paula, what did you say, Paula? No, I am not. I am not <laughs> going to throw that. I'm throwing it away, Paula. It's in the garbage. In the garbage. Okay. So, insides. Now, if you have a lot of colors... Okay, notice we only use two different colors here for ink. If you have the coordinating colors, use them. But if you don't, that's okay too, you guys. I'm just going to use black on all the insides. Remember, quick. That's what we're going for. I already have, you guys, I've, I've started getting Christmas cards. I'm super excited. <laughs> That's actually one of the things on my agenda this weekend. I have Christmas cards to create. Okay, there's our insides. Plenty of room to write. Yes, actually, Kathy, that is a great idea as well. Um, Sharon says, oh, getting back to the envelopes, you guys. Um, Sharon says that she puts hers towards the back and hasn't had any issues. And Kathy has a suggestion. You put some packing tape on the back side of the envelope and then you really don't have to worry. So all kinds of ideas. No reason to sweat the small stuff, you guys. And you do not have to add extra postage. Do not. Um, just before Saturday, Vicki, so long as you can get it here before Saturday, it's all good. And even if you don't, that's okay too. All right, so here's our inside liner for that. Here, Anita, this is our new tape runners. Fabulous. Kitty fur is free. Oh my gosh, before Thanksgiving, I just got my first one yesterday. So I have to clean off my little card packet thing. So all right, ladies. Now here is three quick cards. Oh my gosh, Anita, those new tape runners to me are a game changer. Game changer. All right, so here are our three cards that we created today, you guys. And I have, oh, I was thinking of putting that on the inside, but we'll see what happens. All right, I have three more cards like this to make. And I've used all the poinsettia paper. I was thinking of putting this on the inside. You guys, if this could become a gift card holder, put um, some tape on both sides and there's, it'll hold the gift card. So there's that. So there's your two six, by, or there's your six by six piece of the poinsettia paper. And then we have these, three piece ones and I'll post the pictures on the whispers and secrets page you guys along with the supply list and stuff
all the patterns, here's your patterns. I have three different patterns. So there's the mistletoe pattern, Anita. We have the poinsettia pattern. And then the last pattern is just a filigree pattern. And it's flocked, so it's fuzzy. So those are the patterns. I'll post pictures. Don't forget to ask to join the uh, Whispers and Secrets page. So if you guys are on the Whispers and in Ink page, if you look under groups, I have several groups. So I will post in the Whispers and Secrets group, I will post the supply list and I will post the, um, the measurements that I cut at. So if you have any other questions, please, please let me know. And you guys, if you learned anything today, please feel free to help others learn things as well. And do what, Paula? What do you need to do to this video down over here? <laughs> and then if you're catching the replay, please do hashtag replay because... I know I'm a little behind in the prize department, but um, I, those are going, I've got to get uh, Becky over here so that we can get those things out. So prizes, prizes. Don't forget, we get prizes. Um, I am so glad you guys could join me for our launch video in the new Flutter by Studio. So excited. All right. That's exactly right, Lynn. Yay! Thank you, Lynn. Lynn says, share, share, share. All right. You guys, have a great day getting crafty, and I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Oh, Vicki says, now to replay from the top. Oh, yay! All right, guys. See you soon.